A 10 News alert out of Clearwater that we are watching closely. A suspicious envelope was found at the Centennial Bank off of US 19. Hazmat crews have been called to the scene, and that's where 10 News reporter Liz Crawford is right now. And Liz, investigators say a former employee left that envelope. Well, it could be a little while before things get totally back to normal here at Centennial Bank. There's a couple sheriff's deputies still hanging around after a very unusual hazmat situation earlier this afternoon. One of the bank employees actually touched an envelope that had a suspicious substance on it. Now, despite wearing rubber gloves, he burned his finger. He was taken to the hospital. He's OK. He has since been released. I want to show you this video from earlier this afternoon. This is actually the Pinellas County hazmat team. Bank workers called 911. So police, fire and the hazmat crew showed up to investigate. The team brought that envelope outside. They put it inside a plastic bag, sprayed it down with a bleach substance before then putting it inside several other plastic bags to transport it to the lab. Now, a fire chief told me there was indeed a blue liquid in the envelope. They're still investigating to figure out what exactly it was. In the meantime, the bank was evacuated. The workers went into a nearby business just to get out of the heat. They did come back inside the bank, but just about a half hour ago, I saw most of those employees walking to their car. None of them wanted to talk to reporters, but they had uh, headed to their cars and they were leaving for the day. Now, I will tell you this. One of the bank employees called 911 and said a former employee left behind an envelope and it appeared it had a suspicious substance on it. And that is why they called 911 and that is what police is looking into. At this time, no arrests have been made. The FBI is now involved because the FBI is going to test what exactly was on that envelope.